Today, a man was charged following a suspicious death investigation. A prosecutor has charged Adam Connor with murder and tampering with evidence. We first told you this is breaking news last night. Officers were on the scene in the 1700 block of High Quest Drive from yesterday afternoon until early this morning. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live from the scene of the crime tonight. Layla, what can you tell us about what we learned today? Yeah, Marissa, so we spent the day digging into Adam Connor's criminal history, going over court documents and actually speaking to neighbors in the area. And what we learned is that one of the women living inside of this house, she reported her roommate missing. And according to police, she had no idea that her roommate was actually dead inside her garage. Columbia police arrived to the 1700 block of HighQuest Drive around 340 yesterday after receiving a call for a missing person at risk. When officers arrived, they located a 58-year-old woman's body hidden in a closet. And today, 37-year-old Adam Connor, a man with a previous criminal history, was formally charged in the murder. According to the Columbia Police Department, Connor was recently stealing purses from elderly women's shopping carts at grocery stores. And yesterday, Connor's mother contacted police when she had not seen her roommate since Friday. Police found the victim in a closet in the garage. The body was under a rug inside the closet with a wheelchair on top of it. Due to the extent of the injuries, police were unable to make an ID at first. According to documents, police interviewed Connor, who allegedly gave an inconsistent time frame, leading police to look into him as a suspect. On October 8th, three alerts from the victim's medical pendant were sent out to the Columbia Fire Department within two minutes. The fire department arrived 12 minutes later, but were unable to get into the garage after someone stopped the door from completely opening. GPS said the alerts came from the home and operators could hear a constant panting. Connor was home at the time and spoke with firefighters. It was determined the victim died of blunt force trauma to her head. Trash bags of blood soaked clothes were found in the backyard. One contained a bloody claw hammer that crime scene investigators claimed was consistent with the victim's head injury. And when interviewed by police, Connor's mother told, a, told them that he told her not to go inside the garage. Now, the police have not yet let out an ID for the victim. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Layla.